does it look right? Is this like, is this setting giving like a little something, something? So, where do I start? I guess I should start with an intro or something. y'all welcome back to another video you guys this is gonna be a mini little q and a i always think q and a's are so cute and it's such a fun way to get to know a person so i asked you guys a few questions on instagram and now i'm going to answer them but before i do that i do want to say that i have been gone for a couple weeks um only because I just had to get more settled in the new home that we moved into. And it's been a lot like trying to move and trying to travel and you know, just trying to do life. So I am back with it. I wouldn't say I fell off because last time I really fell off, I didn't post for like a couple years. But it's only been like a couple weeks. But anywho, I am back and we're gonna do like a cute little Q&A. So let's get into it. All right, so the first questions, and like I said, this is not in any order. I probably should have did that too. Anyways, question number one. How is life? So, in a short answer, life, life is good. Life is, um, yeah, life is good. And I am, I feel truly blessed, honestly. I am going through like a transition. You guys know um, I have a family now, so I'm not hosting anymore. I don't have my, um, the Miracle Lifestyle or the Miracle Closet, which were two other business ventures that I was doing. I made a choice to shut those businesses down so that I could do something different that has a little bit more meaning to me and that wasn't so saturated. And I don't wanna talk about it too much because I don't wanna kinda of jinx it or whatever. But anywho, um, yeah, life is, uh, I have to say that I am truly blessed. I have to look at the positive things in life. And I mean, that's just how my mental works these days. I choose to look at the positive things versus the negative. I'm not saying they're not there, but I choose to look at the positive and life is good. Life. The next question is, how tall are you? I am 5'6", to my knowledge. I thought I was 5'7", y'all. But come to find out, I'm 5'6", maybe 5'6 and a half. Not that tall, not that short. How do you stay motivated? Um, Sometimes I lack motivation, but at the end of the day, I don't know. Matter of fact, let me re-answer that question. Because like, before, yeah, let me just say that. Before I was in a relationship, I used to have a lot of motivation. I used to have a lot of drive and I don't have that same motivation or that drive anymore. So I think I had to kind of reevaluate like what my goals were because a lot of things that, you know, I worried about in the past, I don't necessarily have to worry about them now. Like when it comes to finances, when it comes to how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that. And I know the easy thing to say is I stay motivated because my child, but in all all actuality my child is well taken care of so it does give me motivation but I also know regardless he's gonna be taken care of so what I had to do was like reevaluate my life write down some goals and things that I want to achieve and deadlines that I want to meet these goals like we just not write down goals to you know achieve them like whenever they happen or just out of the clear boost. What I have learned now is to throw out goals and set deadlines for those goals. And um, that's what keeps me motivated. And also whenever I talk about not being motivated, I also realize that I've been, um, this is only like almost three years of my life where, you know, I've been going through this transition and like, you know, things are changing. But yeah, that's how I stay motivated. Did you have postpartum depression? Honestly, it's kind of crazy to say because me being me and me having dealt with as much of depression and anxiety that I have dealt with and that I deal with um, depression, I did kind of have like intrusive thoughts maybe, but I just feel like that's normal as a new mother. I don't know, is it normal? Is it not? I don't know. So um, I am lucky and blessed to say that I did not go through postpartum depression. Do you plan on having more kids? 
Okay, so I do want to have more kids. I probably would want to have one more. But my, like I said, my labor, and I've talked about this before, my labor was very scary to me. And yeah, I think that's just the, that's the main thing that kind of holds me back from having a baby. And also, I feel like having two kids, like you have to wrap more of your life around being a mom. And the thing is, like for me, I like to find balance in my life and everything that I do. So I don't want to be a mom all day, every day. I still have to find time to be a friend. I still have to find time to be a girlfriend. I still have to find time for myself. And I don't know, just right now, I'm still chasing a lot of things and a lot of dreams and goals that I don't think that two kids would be great for me to do right now. But I mean, later on in the future, I'm 31 now, so I probably only have probably about four or five more years I can have a kid. But yeah, I would definitely want to have another kid when the time is right. Would I want the kid to be a girl or a boy? I really don't care. I mean, of course, you know, a girl would be cool, but ultimately I do know I'm a boy mom. So if I do have all boys, I'm fine with that. All right, T, moving on. Are you still acting? So of course I'm still acting. Um, however, I mean, you do know you have to audition and you have to actually get the role to be actively acting and your girl just haven't got any more roles yet, so. Yeah. Do you still suffer from depression slash anxiety? My mental health is really good right now, you guys. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, do I still suffer from depression? Here and there, I feel like if you suffer from depression, it's, it's something that's in you, it's always in you. I don't know, this is just how I feel. Um, but you just go through life and you figure out ways to work through it so that it doesn't hit as hard as it could. So anytime I feel myself, you know, about to get depressed or whatever, I try to change my thoughts. I try to get up and get active and not like actually sink in the depression now my anxiety my anxiety is something totally different and it's something that is very hard for me to like have self-control over my anxiety like I just can't control it. I have, I'm fucking anxious I have anxiety things like I said life is good and I am happy my mental is doing great you guys favorite foundation I don't know I feel like they're all my favorite whenever I'm using it and you know how foundation goes I'm not the type that like flip and flop foundations like I use it all into it's gone and that's just that right now I'm using Charlotte Tillsbury and that's my favorite right now how do you balance life how do I balance life I think for me I balance life by just trying not to overthink a lot of things and actually you know tackling things as they as they are on my way you know what I mean if I think about calling a friend or if I'm thinking about somebody I try to be a better friend and actually hit that person if somebody calls me I try to everybody know I'm very bad with my phone that's for starters, but I am doing much better because, I don't know, you know, whenever I call my friends, they answer whenever they call me. It's like either she is or she don't, they be worried about me a little bit. So um, I'm working on being a better friend. I feel like I'm finding balance with that and my love life because at one point, like I was just really wrapped up in my man and I still am, like whenever he's home, like they already know y'all gonna hear from me way less and that's just what it is we have that type of relationship where we like being under each other we still enjoy each other that's still my best friend and i mean we get tired of each other but yeah i i, I like to be with my man that's just that's just how i am you know i always find times uh to do things with my son He's with me the majority of the time. I dedicate certain days to take him places, to do things with him. My family, I talk to them almost every other day. I just do it. I just, you know, you just find a balance and you know, life is about having balance. You know, you can't do much of anything is not good for you. So yeah, I just find time to do whatever it is that I want. I'm not saying it, it's always on a consistent basis, but I feel like my life is pretty balanced and I mean could it use a little bit more work in certain areas. I'm always gonna say yeah I can use certain use 
more work in certain areas, that's just me. Another way I balance my life and what has helped me a lot is planning and actually writing things down. So I have a planner on my iPad that I use every day. Well, every day for the most part, sometimes she don't be charged. All right, so now we're going into another light question. And I feel like this is such a good one. And I actually seen this question on TikTok so I know where this person got this from. And would you rather be stuck in the middle of the ocean or the middle of the jungle? And in the middle of the ocean, your feet are dangling in the water. Initially, I had said I would want to be in a jungle only because I prefer for my feet to be on land. I don't know, I just feel like I'm more in advantage in like my territory, which is on land versus in water. But after she broke it down, she was saying something about it's not likely for you to get bitten by sharks. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Cause anytime I hear about somebody falling in the ocean, it's always sharks around. It's always something around, you know? I would say the jungle, but what she said did make complete sense. Do you see yourself getting married? Of course. Of course, I better see myself getting married soon, soon. I have a question. Do y'all think it's disrespectful for a man not to marry a woman after being with her for a certain amount of years if they both agree that you know marriage is something that they want? I do, I do, I do. And um, yeah, we're coming up on that time, but so you better, you better get it to Together. Would you ever move back to Houston? Um, ideally, I ain't gonna lie, I definitely would move back to Houston because LA is very expensive. Um, it's not the vibe like it used to be. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. But it's not the vibe like it used to be. And I think most of all, it's just that it's so freaking expensive and you can get more of a bang for your buck down in the South. If I moved to Houston, I would have a lot more help and I would just be around my family more. Y'all know I'm a family girl. I'm just like a down south girl. I'm a down south city girl. But yeah. But anyways, yeah, I would love to move to Houston. Um, with that being said, would I really move back? Probably not because a lot of my life is here. And I do like, um, you know, I love a lot of things about LA. I love the weather. I love that whenever I come to LA, I feel so motivated. I feel like ready to conquer like the world. I feel like when I come here, I'm just, I can do anything. And yeah, LA gives me motivation. I'm not gonna lie. LA does really motivate me. What is it like dating an actor and him playing the roles that he does? It really doesn't bother me. It's, you know, it's a job, it's not real. I mean, it's real because they're really actually doing it. Not actually doing it, you know, they're not having it, whatever. But um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's just a job. Get that money. Get that money. Cause if you don't get no money, we can't have no fun. Yet. What advice? Y'all, this is the last question. I'm looking to see if I missed any. But yeah, I think this is the official last question. And um the question is, and I'm also gonna reword it a little bit because since this is the last question, I'm gonna kinda give it a little twist. What advice would you give women in their 20s? And I'm adding this part on. What advice would you give your younger self? So, um, yeah, I kind of have to think about this one a little bit. I don't want to rush this answer. I think I probably would tell, you know, somebody in their 20s and my younger self the same thing. Um, keep going. Feelings are not permanent. Um, feelings come and go. Be financial literate and know your self-worth. Know that you are the prize. Can't nobody fuck with you. You are that bitch. And you are smart, you are intelligent. Don't be afraid of the world. Can't nobody fuck with you. Can't nobody fuck, okay? And you're that girl. You will forever be that girl. I don't know, that's what I would, that's what I would say. I don't think if I would tell myself anything else. No, the only thing I would possibly say is stand in your power, hold your head up, and you are, you're, you're that girl. You're that girl, period. And that's that. Mwah. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it because I actually did, and I feel like it was a little bit therapeutic for me as well to kind of answer some of these questions because, you know, sometimes you don't, like, actually ask yourself things and deep dive on things about yourself, and I'm not the type of person that really likes to talk about myself a lot. 
I prefer to more so do the question asking because yeah, like I don't want let's talk about you, let's not talk about. Um, but yeah, so it was good to actually answer some questions and for you guys to get to know me and for me to get to know me and for me to have some clarity with things and yeah if you guys feel like those questions weren't good enough maybe we can do this again and you guys will come with some questions that you specifically want the answers to and i hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to comment like and subscribe Mwah.